Hey everyone, I am Izzy Noodles and I am replaying Waterfall Valley. Simply because the first time I played this was without commentary. A lot of people know that when I started out I did not do commentary. So I thought it would actually be nice to replay the games I have and do them with commentary this time. So, Waterfall Valley. Here we go. And this time I will not be using any med packs. Yes, it's going to be a challenge. So, here we go. So firstly we've got a nasty trap here, but if you jump three times like so and aim for the right hand side you will jump into this sneaky little gap. And in this sneaky little gap we have secret one. Already have a secret. So also, if we have a look, we've got a diary which we can read. Also, we always end up on the last page, not certain why. But basically this is about uh, some archaeologists that discovered Waterfall Valley, but no one knows if it's true or not. And the archaeologist that did explore hasn't come back yet. <laughs> so, that's basically what that is. So we have this lever here, which turns off the blades. But if they stop in a dumbass position like that, just pull the lever again, turn them back on, and turn them off again. Unfortunately, you do have to come and try and have a look. Yeah, that's alright. So now just hop out of the gap, and don't be too close to the side, otherwise that blade will get you. Right, so after that awesome flyby, um, my goal is to not take any unnecessary damage. <laughs> so if there are bats that take a nick out of me, then nope, not accepting that. So I might just keep reloading and redoing bits and saving a lot. So anyway, we've got some revolver ammo in the rocks there. Over here, you can shoot that bit of grate in the corner there. Hop on in. And there are some flares, not that you need them because this is actually a very bright game. And we also have another secret. So secrets are quite plentiful at the start of this and I'm going to save it because this is where the bats are. Not going to take any damage from the bats. Alright, pick it up and get out of here. Did they get me? Nope. Damn it, they got me. I pressed the wrong button. Oh, I'm reloading. That sucked. I know. I know. So, <laughs> just pick up the secret. It really doesn't help that she looks at them. Yes. So it is easier to put your pistols away. Just gonna shooting like crazy. I'm quite certain there were more bats. Where are they all? I bet one's gonna come out of nowhere, isn't it? Oh, better not. Better not. Anyway, moving on. We've got this ladder up here. So you climb up. There is a lot of doors in this area, you may have noticed, but you can't go through any of them just yet. So this immediate area, there are a few items. And this jump is a little tricky. You see where the tiles meet right in front of Lara? You want that crease to just be on Lara's left. It is tricky to line yourself up. Ah, so you, I've been um, struggling there. You have to jump up, not just hold the action, but jump as well. And you'll grab this ledge and shimmy all the way along. OK, 
Okay, so just drop down and we have this mask here that is labelled as a secret mask. It's not a secret, it's an important item. So it's a confusing name to give it, but it's important, so don't forget it. <laughs> We've also got some normal shot shotgun shells here. And if we drop down, we've got some oozy clips right here in the bushes. And I'm going to climb back up there again in order to get the oozies. So it is tedious, I know. I know. <laughs> Especially the items in this area. You climb up to get something to climb back up again. So the easiest way to do this is come to this corner and where all the uh, the brown foliage is there that's a sneaky little gap so you know I'm gonna do the obvious okay and you just want to stand and jump and grab and you'll slide all straight on into that gap and get the wheezies yes so there actually is one more item in this area, but I won't get it just yet. I'll wait until I am in that corner, because it's right in the far corner. So for now, come into the water. And there's a, a few things here. Mostly we want to open the big door ahead, but there is a secret. I'm not going to show the secret, simply because I've just gone past it and I was busy talking so I forgot <laughs> but you want to pull this lever and it will show you what it does so that gem there is the secret so we pulled the lever in order to get to the secret and it is literally right there it's pretty simple okay so go back for some air now we're going to open the doors so there are two levers to pull which makes it a little tedious but it wouldn't be Tomb Raider otherwise would it so one of them is in this teeny tiny little gap here and when it shows you what something does you can move as well you see you've got a door there that didn't do anything that's an indication that we need to do something else as well so that's what I like about Tomb Raider. So the second lever is straight across from the first one, behind this box. Or some. So now rush and get some air. Please don't die. Okay. So now we can go in there, but before we enter, there is a large med pack hiding up in the corner. I do love this game. Everything is so detailed. It's a short game, but effort has gone into it. I mean, there's a bridge here. You're not even going to drain this water and there is a bridge so when you come through here you want to stay close to the top because there are poison darts just there and inside here there are two crocodiles which are really annoying so climb out and deal with them you see they've gone there there's one well there's both but yeah lower point aim I'm going to turn that down because that's kind of loud. Okay. <laughs> Where's the other one? I know you're here. Maybe I did get it. Let's see if I can coax it out from wherever it is. Did I get it? Maybe I got it. Oh, he's right behind me. <laughs> I didn't get it. Damn, that was 
scary. Ooh, right behind me. Get him. Aim. Aim at the crocodile. Okay, that got him. So, right here is a small med pack. And in the water there is an incredibly important item. It is a crowbar. Do not forget it. And just on this ledge above this door there is some wide shot shotgun shells. And now for the fun part. I say fun, I'm lying. <laughs> so right, that's left, left forward and right you got three doorways all of which have very horrible traps so I'm gonna start with the one straight ahead because it's the most annoying and if I feel I've taken too much damage I will reload so so far I have not taken any damage whatsoever so it's tedious and will take many many attempts so there's oh, no easy way of doing it. I may have to redo it because it's difficult. These second set of blades are a lot easier because they're further apart. Okay, so I'm not dead. I'm not sure if I'll have to reload yet. Got a raptor right there. So that's annoying. Go away, please. Go away, please. Not sure whether to save or not. <laughs> Tedious. Whoa, she's jumping. I didn't mean to jump forward. But that's alright because he's stuck. That is absolutely dandy. Awesome. So we want the crowbar in order to pry these off the wall. I didn't mention that we need three of these. And the hint is that there is one already in its receptacle. There's four receptacles, but one is already there. So we need to find the three. So I'm going to save. My health isn't too bad, I don't think. <laughs> it's hard to tell. So obviously I'm going to save again. And this skeleton is actually quite annoying. Oh, oh, I'm dead. I was so close. So close. See, th this is why we save. Oh, no damage. Yes. That is a very improbable thing. All right. Right. So, from coming out of that area, I'm going left, which was right when I was looking at them from the other side. So this one is pretty easy to get into. It's getting out of this one that's pretty difficult. You want to stay close to the center. Ooh, yes, no damage. Oh, what? Oh, well, that's okay. So this trapdoor is closed unlike the other one so we pull the lever and you can only get out on this side so just jump back because that's slopey got some oh, oh she's got them the skeleton is in an awkward place you've got a small med pack and some wheezy clips there and just shoot this so we can get to our ancient stone okay and now we have to get out of here, which, like I said, is a lot more difficult. So I often be just a short space away from the opening. No real reason, really. Nope, that was too far, but never mind. It's sometimes sometimes I like to try and roll and get into a better position, but no, not today. 
sometimes it's best to mm, wow just go for it on this one Oh, yes, yes, yes. Awesome. So that was actually a huge help not taking any damage coming back from that first one. Don't know how I managed it. But anyway, if you have 0.1% health at this point, you can finish the game. From here, it's incredibly easy. So it's just this main part, this first part, that's so difficult. Because this next, next trap is a one-hit kill, but it's actually pretty simple. So you actually want to start moving right the, the moment before those spikes deplete. So here's your lever to open your trap door on the other side. It is easy to go straight past that. All right, where's the dinosaur? There he is. Go away, please. Ugh. So what I like to do is, uh, oh, he's back. He might get me, actually. You know, whatever. So I like to try and climb out and then flip backwards because there's a safe gap. Oh, he got me. He got me. That's fine. It's fine. We can finish the game. Awesome. So here is our third ancient stone. Awesome. So obviously I'm going to save. Okay, even though this is a pretty simple trap to get through, forgot to stop. Okay, let's uh, do this again, and not just swim straight into it. Oh, poked her in the feet. Awesome. So you see up here, just on the right, on the left hand side of the screen, that is the indication that we need to place stones in the receptacles. That's the ancient stone and that's the clue of what we're doing here. So here we go, here's the other one on the other side of here, of that rather. And assumedly, the other two receptacles are over here. So just shoot this pot so you can get to the receptacle. And when you go back into the water, you want to just hop back because those spikes coming out the wall will do damage. Yes, they will. Where am I? I just swam around in a circle for no reason. Okay, so you heard a trapdoor open there. That is right below us. There is also a second one to the right hand side, but we want to go... Nope, that was left. There's a second one on the left, but we want to go in this one on the right. There are no traps, so don't panic. Ooh. And pulling this lever, we get an awesome flyby to show what it does. All right. 
right. So we have gotten rid of the water. Awesome. So we're going to go back and see what we can do now. So where we picked up the crowbar from was on this box. This is where we want to go. Just hop on and as you were swimming around you may have noticed the poles in the room. Poles and ropes. That is exactly what we're going to do. So these poles are incredibly annoying. You can only grab the poles in this game in the centre. So, yep. So from this one you want to do a, a running jump maybe. Is that it? Yeah, and then veer to the right. Nope. Nope. You want to veer to the right to grab the next pole. It's difficult, I'm not going to lie. And veer to the right. Well, I didn't mean to roll. Don't know why she rolled, but I made it. I made it. So if we look across, you've got two blocks across there with smiley faces. So the lever behind will lower those blocks. And there is an item underneath each of those. So we have to go and get them via the means of rope swings. The joy. The joy it brings to avid Tomb Raider fans. Okay. They'll do. Right, so run and jump. And you need a lot of momentum for these ropes. This first one especially, you need to jump at the highest point of your swing. Ooh. Ooh. So I either need more momentum or I need to jump a bit sooner or later, whichever. There we go. And you do actually need a fair bit of momentum for this jump as well. But you don't need to be so precise and at the highest point. So there we go, that was good. So we've got a gold idol here. And that's showing you a door down below. That's... Uh, inside the other trapdoor that I haven't yet gone through and once we picked up both of these items that second one is a cog just there uh, we can go through this passageway just here okay so this one also has spike traps just around this corner so Careful. Oh, I swam too soon. E okay. So here we have a lever. I wonder what it does. I have no idea what that lever just did. And right now we are back in a familiar place. Here we are. Awesome. So now that difficult part is out the way. This is where I'm going to end the video. So I hope you're impressed <laughs> with my no, no meds run so far and I'll see you next time. Take it easy guys.